Number one, what is the stone of Jacob, a Hebrew patriarch, doing beneath the queen's throne chair? Number two, why was the queen crowned at her coronation ceremony on top of a symbolic Egyptian step pyramid? Number three, the monarch's crown has 12 stones at the base, each representing the 12 Hebrew tribes. The 12 stones of the 12 tribes were also worn on the breastplate of Hebrew high priests in Canaan. Number four, the Union Jack represents the reunion of the United Kingdom of the 12 tribes of Jacob, or Jack Up. The Union Jack is red, white, and blue, the same colors as the three crowns of Egypt. Number five, the royal scepter originates in ancient Egypt and was carried by the Egyptian god Amun and by Egyptian pharaohs, who called themselves the Son of God. The royal scepter is now carried by pharaonic descendant Queen Elizabeth II. Her scepter contains the world's largest cut diamond, called the Star of Africa. Number six, the queen's punishing flail or whip is partially hidden under her arm. The flail or whip also originates with the pharaohs of ancient Egypt. Number seven, the symbol of the bee can be found within the queen's royal wardrobe. In ancient Egypt, bees were the symbol of Egyptian royalty, as well as the symbol of Egypt. Number eight. The symbols on the British coat of arms reveal Britain's Hebrew origin. Number nine. The headdress worn by judges and the queen's high-ranking officials originate in ancient Egypt. Number 10. Kilts like the one worn Prince Charles originate with the Egyptian pharaohs who wore white kilts. Nuit Coeptus Novus Odo Seclorum, and that was in 1774 that the Bavarian Illuminati drew up their plans for what they were going to do in America and how they were going to do it. They were the basis for what we call today in our country the Bavarian um, Illuminati was the basis for what we call today the Colombian faction. The Colombian faction of the Illuminati came here right after this government was formed. And that's where we get today Columbia, Columbia, uh, this Columbia Space Shuttle, Columbia Movies, Columbia Television, you know, Columbia Records, everything, Columbia University. Uh, as a matter of fact, Columbia TV, Columbia Broadcasting System, CBS. What is the symbol for CBS? It's the all-seeing eye. And that's why our government is in the District of Columbia, because these guys own our government. They print our money, and they own not only the government, but they own you. You are their property. So, in other words, these guys print the money, they run the country, and they own you, and they own everything around it. And so they make the laws, and that's why they can decide who can kill who, and who can get away with who, and who can get away with whatever, because they make the laws and they decide, all right? Iraq was the home of the uh, very advanced culture going back to 4000 BC, uh, down to around 2000 BC of Sumer. Babylon was a ancient headquarters of this Illuminati. Um, like I said, and that's why, as we'll get to as we go through, these Illuminati today use a tremendous amount of Babylonian symbolism in their own uh, codes and language. This is the area I'm talking about. Egypt came yeah, into it as well, but this area was crucial. These um, families um, exported themselves out into Europe, where they became the aristocracy of Europe and the royal families of Europe. When uh, you go back to Babylon, you find that they worshipped the trinity of Nimrod, the father, who they symbolize as a fish, Ninos Tamos, the son, Queen Samirimis, um, the Romans used to worship Queen Samirimis under the term Venus Columba, Venus the Dove, because the Babylonians used to symbolize Samirimis as a dove. Okay? In French, the word for dove is Columba. So Columbus 
was a play on Columba, the goddess, Queen Cinerimus, as portrayed on an, an ancient coin. I've seen her somewhere before. When I researched these secret societies, I have found that at the very heart and core of all these secret societies lurks the Kabbalah. The Kabbalah is the ancient Jewish mysticism. It is a method of encoding information through a system of mathematics and numbers. It is some of the most ancient knowledge that man has ever possessed and has been kept secret and given only to those who have proven themselves worthy through the process of initiation. Nobody knows where it comes from. I can tell you this, it was there long before the Jews came along. The Jews just took it and preserved it and they passed it down and it's used by everybody because it's at the heart and core of the secret knowledge, the metaphysics, the real science that none of us know anything about. These people that belong to the secret societies never dared to write down in any language what they knew, what it was that they were guarding, because then someone could steal it and then the secret would be out. So they devised secret systems of encoding the secrets of the ages, the knowledge, the hidden knowledge, the occult. So they took this knowledge and they made it occult through a system of encoding encryption, one of which is mathematics, numbers. Another is architecture. Everybody wonder why do they have a fraternal organization called the Freemasons? Aren't those the guys that build walls? You bet they do, but every wall they build contains the secrets that have been kept and maintained throughout the ages and it's encoded in the architecture and in the measurements of the buildings and in the mathematical form formulas used to derive the geometry, the shape, the length and breadth and height of rooms, all encoded there. 